So welcome back everyone, Mike here. This evening I'm going to finally get started building this tower blind, or tiny house, or cabin in the woods, whatever you want to call it. But it's going to be 8x8, eight eight. I'm going to use 6x6 six six posts, and the floor height will be about 7 feet off the ground, which is pretty good where I'm sitting right here on this knoll. Should work out pretty good. Now when you're building things like chicken coops, or sheds, or hunting blinds, or real small decks, anything like that, it can be difficult at times to get everything squared up and all your posts, you know, plumb and everything right, especially when you're working yourself. You know, for years I'd use like batter boards and running string lines and my three, four, five method. There's all different ways you can get things squared up. But tonight I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm sure other people have done this before. I've never seen it before, but I was just thinking this the other day for smaller, you know, structures and setting posts, it should work out really well. I brought the RK37 out here with the uh, post hole digger on it and I brought some 2x4s with me. I had some 6x6s out here for my posts. By the way, I mention this all the time, if you're in the market for a grapple for your tractor, I love this granite grapple for tons of reasons. Works great for root knot, you know, small invasive plants like multiflora rose or autumn olive. Great for carrying logs, tree tops, brush. And what else I like about it, you notice those tines on the bottom. They stick out just far enough. You can put some lumber on there. You can carry fence posts, whatever you want. Just kind of close the lid. You don't have to smash it or pinch it or, or bang things up. Kind of works like a you know a little forklift, actually. But it, it works really well. That's a great grapple. I mean, if you're in the market for one, I would definitely uh, check out the uh, Arcade by Top Dog Granite Grapples. It works really, really well. But anyway, i got to head back to the house and get the uh, Ranger. I loaded a bunch of tools up in there. Come out here and get started. Like I said, I only got a couple hours here to work. And uh, while you're all spread out, you kind of like to get, you know, that part of it wrapped up. All right, I think I brought everything I need. I hope so. It's only about a 10 or 12 minute hike back to the house. But when you only have a couple hours to work, you hate to forget something and waste a half hour going to get something simple. Plant a tree up on the hill And days go by on your windowsill Then you're standing in its shade Raise your children tall and proud Chase away the lightning clouds Until you finally get old and gray We all fade away Stones will crumble down 
my dreams up on a shelf And all I have to show is this waste of time No rhythm and no rhyme All the troubles that we go through in our lives And all the time we're wasting living up our lives Oh, we're only here for a short while Better take it with a smile This one, and this one at eight feet. That one, and that one at eight feet three inches. All right, and I laid them down on the ground, then I cut four two by fours, just 30 inches, put 45s on the end of them, used my framing square to square that all up, screwed those 30 inches down to the corners, because it's much easier to square something like this up than those big heavy six by six posts when they're in the ground. So what I'm gonna do now, I painted the corners, so I know where my holes go. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'll drill my holes, slide this back over the holes, drop the six by sixes in the corners. I made sure that I have enough room. That's why I use 30 inch two by fours on the corners. Put the, two, or put the six by sixes in, and then I'll lift this up and uh, screw it to the six by sixes. And then all it's gonna take is a digging bar to kind of plumb things up a little bit. And I'll probably actually put another four two by fours around it maybe five feet off the ground something like that before i put the ready mix concrete in but uh, i think this should work out a lot easier this didn't take long at all and it's a lot better than setting up batter boards and string lines and things like that so anyway i'm going to move this out of the way drill my holes put it back and we'll start setting the posts in i'm probably going to hit some roots here because there's trees everywhere i'm not sure how well this is going to go but uh we'll get them done
didn't take long at all. Actually took uh, longer to put the post hole digger on than it did to drill those four holes. Like I said in that video the other day, I think it may find some more places to drill holes. That worked really well. That last one over there, it had some shale in it. It was getting kind of hard at the bottom. Now I'm just going to clean these out with the uh, hand post hole digger a little bit. Flip my frame back over and set my post in. Oh, we got some company. Melissa and Hunter. Yeah. Um, okay, so one, Hunter's, these are Hunter's jammies and his slippers. Oh. Because. What she doesn't walk in a hole there. Right. Because uh, he had his dinner and that's what comes next. But I snuck out, I went down through the garage and out the back gate to go out the trail without the dog seeing me. And Hunter came out on the deck and was just leaning and watching. And I turned and looked back. And there's a bee. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna step in it. There's a bee swarming for bug or something in my face, and I was going like this, and he's like, "Okay." So he, <laughs> he came. Hunter, you wore your slippers out here in the woods. <laughs> Hunter likes to. Uh, he stays busy all day long, always on the move, and uh, so about after dinner, he's ready to shut her down for the yeah. night. But he, he thought I desperately needed him to come in. Yeah. <laughs> so. He thought you. He thought you needed him. I was doing this, trying to get that bee, and I just hey, glanced back. And he Why don't you say hi to else. everybody? Yeah, wave to the camera. Do you love all the comments? You like all the comments people make? Yes. Can you say thank you? That means thank, thank you. you. <laughs> We're not praying. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I said to Hunter, "Okay, we're going to finish here." And I folded my arms, he folded his arms, and Hunter knows you fold your arms to say prayer, but we're not going to say a prayer right now, right? We're just going to say thanks so much for all the comments. Hunter really enjoys the interaction. Makes him smile. Um, he loves hearing all the positive things about him, and he totally loves all the advocates for him to get a chicken sandwich from Burger King. But, shouldn't have said that. No, I, right. I shouldn't have. <laughs> There's even comments where people say, <laughs> where people say, um, you know, you should get them. I don't read all those to him, or I whisper that part. And um, or we're making a trip at 10 o'clock at night. Right. But I, I've got to go. I'm going to walk back with Hunter to the house. The girls are there, going to have some dinner. And um, I'm taking a class at the gym, at the CrossFit gym. It's uh, an Olympic lifting class. You're going to be in the Olympics. Yeah, I'm going to be able to lift up your. Well, you're getting ready to leave line. before I can lift this heavy post. Oh, got, you know what? Just leave him there. I'll get him for you. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks. See you, Hunter. You want me to wave goodbye? Slippers and all. I probably could have taken a little bit more time and got more of this out, but actually, there's not a whole lot left in there. There are definitely some roots. Cut right through them. I'm on rock right there. There's a little bit of water right on top of it. That won't hurt anything. Because what I'll do when I put these posts in, I will uh, just dump a couple bags of ready mix in there. It'll suck that right up. Getting into a little bit of water there too. I'm out here on this knoll. Surprisingly, there's uh, still groundwater. This is the one I hit shale pretty early on.
all this work is going to pay off. Next winter, muzzleloader season. Be sitting in here when it's snowing. Have me a little propane stove making breakfast. Maybe a cot, take a nap. Should be pretty nice. The one I was looking for right here. Last one. Water. All right, as you can see, I got all the six by six posts in the hole. Obviously, they're not plumbed up yet. Now at this point right here, another set of hands would be kind of helpful because what I'm going to do is kind of raise that 2x4 frame up a little bit and screw it to one of the posts. A couple things that I should have brought with me that I forgot. I should have brought uh, some clamps and I did not bring a digging bar. I don't need to do any digging, but I will need one to kind of stick down in that hole and wiggle the bottom of those posts around to get them right where I need it. But for right now, I'm going to get things kind of close. All right, I took the tractor back over to the house and I uh, brought a digging bar back with me. All I did with that frame right there, I just kind of got it up in the air a little bit, put one screw in each post. It's nowhere near square or plumb right now. I'm gonna start kind of kicking those posts around. I'll get one set nice and straight, just work my way around it. turned out to be a really nice evening. When I first came out here, that was about two hours ago. It was real windy, but things kind of since calmed down, died down. Nice quiet evening. Kind of a nice time to be out here in the woods. But anyway, things went pretty well this evening. I will have to make a part two because I need to get some more materials. I need about eight bags of ready mix concrete at this point, a few, a few more two by fours for some bracing. Uh, but all in all, things went really well tonight. Like I said, about two hours time, I have into this so far and plus I have some extra time you know moving the camera around things like that I already took the tractor back to the house uh, but all the holes are plenty big enough it'll work out really well and tomorrow I'm gonna go shoot some sporting clays uh, with some friends of mine in the morning and it's supposed to rain but maybe tomorrow afternoon I'll come out here uh, get that ready mix and get these posts finished up let them sit for a few days and then we'll be ready to build Tell you what, I thought eight by eight was a good number. It's actually a little bit bigger than what I thought. We'll see, but that'll be all right. Uh, but anyway, something else I wanna mention. I mentioned uh, about a week ago, I kinda have a goal. Uh, I'd like to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know why, it's just something that I'm trying to get to. We hit 60,000 yesterday and I'm very appreciative of all the support. And uh, you know, there's a lot of people that watch this channel though that aren't really subscribers. They don't subscribe to anything. But if you enjoy them, go ahead and click subscribe, hit the little bell icon. I know I say that at the end of every video, but I mean it. And most importantly, comment. Uh, we really enjoy that, seeing where everybody's from, how things are going. Like Melissa was saying earlier, it's a lot of fun reading the comments to Hunter. He appreciates that. Uh, but I think that's about a wrap here. I'm pretty excited about this tower blind. Uh, like I said earlier, all this hard work right now, next winter I'll be sitting in this thing in muzzleloader season. 
little cooktop in there making some breakfast with the snow flying oh it'll be great but anyway like i always say if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks Thank you.